friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to introduce a new playlist which will be uploaded on my YouTube channel pretty soon on the topic of phase study system design. Under this tutorial, I'm going to cover each and every important aspects of doing a practical phase array system, including the RF beam forming as well as digital beam forming or hybrid beam forming kind of systems as we go along. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Keyside Pathway System Design Tool, which is also known as System View. And if you haven't watched System View before or haven't used System View before, I will recommend you to go to my YouTube channel, go under the playlist of Learn System View in five minutes, and there you will find 28 videos talking about various aspects of System View. That will give you a very good head start so that you can start feeling comfortable with the environment and again, get the, the maximum benefit out of these tutorials. Now, this particular video is a teaser video showing you the value of five minutes and what all you can do in as little as five minutes of your time, even if you are very new to the tool, very new to the technology and just trying to understand. So stay tuned and let's see how we go about designing M cross N phase today system. Now this M cross N could be two cross two or could be 100 cross 100, doesn't matter. So you would be able to do all that very, very easily with, with the same amount of effort. All right, to, to show you around uh, this particular video, here is the system view GUI, just in case you haven't seen it any time before. Here is the workspace tree, that's where we will have our design analysis and all the graphs. Here is the tune window, which will allow you to do runtime tuning on certain component parameters if you define them as tunable. This is your schematic. This is where we are going to create our system diagram. And on the right hand side, we have the library. And as you can see, I am under main library of RF design and in the category of RF phase array. And these are the only components which you really need to do a full phase array system design. All right, so with this introduction, let's hit the clock running. And with this clock, we will be able to see how far you can go in five minutes. And mind you, these five minutes will include my description or delivery. If I don't you know, describe things, I could be a lot faster. But even with along with the description and the details, let's see how easy it, it, your job becomes if you are involved into system view. Uh, you know, base phase array system design. All right, let's hit the clock. And now under this design from the library, let's place our source. And after the source, we will have our splitter. Now this splitter component could be flipped around as you need, you know, and this is what will convert the incoming signal into M cross N, you know, kind of matrix followed by a digitally controlled fish, you know, attenuator or what we call as digital attenuator and then a digital phase shifter followed by an antenna. And now between phase shifter and antenna, we have our power amplifier. So I can go to amplifier category and then just bring out our power amplifier. So now with all these basic things in place, we're gonna start connecting these component with each other and start specifying the properties. Now, because I want my system to change dynamically, I'm not going to go and do hard coding of some of these parameters. Rather, I will bring out my equation block. And in this equation block, I'm going to define frequency as 10 gigahertz, number of elements in X, let's say to start with eight, number of elements in Y, again, to start with eight, theta as zero and phi as zero. Now, if you need to tune any of these parameters runtime, you could def, you know, uh, put that number in the tune function. And now system view, will start treating it as tunable. And again, all these things I have covered in my system view basic tutorials. Now, all of these are in place. So we just right click run equation. And now you can see all three parameters are under tune window. Now with this basic setup, I can go ahead and add an analysis, which is phased array analysis, change the mode to a transmitter. And under measurements, I'm going to go ahead and define all the measurements I'm going to do. And you can see all these complex measurements are just matter of you know few clicks. So I can define my you know theta and phi to calculate the main lobe direction error. And for the phi cut, I can link this with the same variable. 
So now once we have all these, we can click OK. And in the source here, let me define the transmitter and let's change the frequency to freak variable and the unit to hertz because I already you know, made uh, E raised to nine in my variable. In the array splitting, I can define the number of rows to num x and instead of doing custom, let's go ahead and subarray and num y. Similarly, for attenuator, I don't need to do anything, but you can apply all kind of tailor window and amplitude tapering in case you are steering the beam and so on. In the phase shifter, I'm going to define theta and phi. Now, based on my theta and phi input, this will compute the m cross n phase shift values or phase coefficients to be fed to each of these amplifiers. Now, in the power amplifier, is a 20 dB gain, 3 dB noise figure, 1 watt output 1 dB compression point, which is 30 dBm, 33 dB of saturation power, IP3 of 40 dBm, IP2 of 50 dBm, and reverse isolation of 40 dBm. In the array antenna, let's define it as a transmitter, uniform rectangular array, num x, num y, half wavelength separation, and again, you can define it as per wavelength or in absolute units. I'm going to use half wavelength separation. In element pattern, all elements should be isotropic, there are other options. And again, as we go along in the rest of the tutorials, you will get inside detailed description of each of these. Now, once I have the basic setup done, I have the you know, simulator already set up. Right click and run simulation and you can see eight cross eight phase array system ran in virtually no time. And here are all of our measurements. So I can plot the 3D directivity, you know, 3D far field plot. I can also right click and add a UV plot. You can see no coding, um, no, no programming, nothing. Everything is in your fingertips so with few mouse clicks. And the beam measurements, you can see all the measurements being performed. And here is a 2D, you know, phi cut. I can also plot it on a rectangular graph and change the scaling. So let's go ahead and change it from minus 40 to plus 50 dB. And now I have the you know, 2D cut. Now everything is in place. So let's go ahead and dial it vertically so that we can see all the things at the same time. Switch on the front end view so that you can see things a little more clearly. All right, with all these things in place, if I want to tune anything, so let's say I want to make it a 50 cross 50, now, guess how much time is it going to take to simulate a 50 cross 50 phased array system, right? So once I change these parameters, I can right click and run. And now you can see within a few seconds, you have 50 cross 50 phased array system. Now, if you want to change parameter runtime, I can switch on the runtime auto calculation. And here's the theta in increment of five, I can move the slider value. And now you can see the beam getting steered by you know, that theta amount here all that in you know five minutes of your time which is less than of your tea break right so hopefully you are exciting enough and you can see some initial value of the system view so let me stop the clock here and with this introduction uh, when we go through this playlist and i go through various aspects of phase study system modeling I will uncover each hidden gem inside system view to do these uh, complex system designs with high amount of accuracy. And I will also show you a few benchmarks against measurements uh, which we have uh, from the system view. That will give you enough confidence in picking up a tool which is proven to be accurate against uh, complex measurements at millimeter wave kind of frequencies. And that will also give you idea why system view is one of the most preferred tool for all serious phase array system designer who do not like to work on spreadsheets or some math tool doing a lot of those programmings. And still you can't really model the real world distortions into your system design. And all that problems you don't face in system view. We will be able to bring in all the measurement related you know, distortions into our simulation environment and do a pretty accurate job. That's all for this video. Hope you like the content presented and excited to go through the various tutorials and a new playlist. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to enable all the notifications and look forward to see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.